Hey and welcome back to this new Blizzard Raid tutorial and today we want to create a car lightning scene. Let's jump right in. Okay, we are in a fresh blender scene and today we want to use our cube. But first, let's bring in here our car. So uh, let's go ahead or go into your favorite place <laughs> where you have your favorite car. Uh, I like to go here into the asset browser and bring in here my DeLorean. And now I want to put here in a plane, which will be our floor. Let's change the plane to 8 by 20. And now, uh, yeah, I want to adjust here a little bit more uh, the DeLorean. So that will this one fit a little bit better here into the center. And now we want to use here our cube. As I said, um, let me put the DeLorean a little bit to the side. So we have a little bit more an idea how tall this light structure should be so let's select our cube press one and i want to push this one a little bit here up to um yeah to the bottom maybe let's go here and press one and the z and let's select our cube now and go into the edit mode and we want to uh, select all the points here in the front and when we're pressing alt and z it's a little bit easier to select them now we want to bring back here these points so let's uh, put this one on zero now we want to extrude um, the face here on the top so let's go and press three or you can select here this button now we want to select here our top face now we want to use here these extrude so you can press on the plus and now we want to bring this here into one point let's go ahead and we want to do the same thing again let's press on the plus here and drag and drop this a little bit up and yeah, now we want to go ahead and bring this to three and we want to go here now into uh, one on this uh, numpad or you can press here on the on the minus y with your mouse okay now we want to select here these points here in the front and now we want to change this here to minus 0.8 let's go ahead and select the back points here i want to change this here to minus 0.3 and bring this up here so we are having here something like something like this can change this here to four and maybe we have to adjust this later a little bit okay now we want to go back here and <laughs> select the next phase now i want to go ahead and drag and drop this one out here let's select these points again the bottom points let's change this to minus four and we want to use the height here of this one and this is three so let's go here to three and change this to minus four as well and the height of this one which is four okay so now we are having here our structure and what I like to do is <laughs> to duplicate this um, so that we are having some trouble we can always go back and use uh, this one. So let's uh, press tab again to leave the edit mode. Shift and D. I want to hide this here for now. Let's make some uh, next stuff here. We want to go into edit mode again and select all these faces here in uh, the inside and let's go back and uh, let's go here into the insert faces uh, drag and press here on drag and drop on this point uh, so change here a little bit so maybe to something like this and we want to use uh, here this menu and enable here individual so that each face has an individual offset and now you can change this one yeah, to uh, which uh, thickness you like. I like to go with point one. And now I want to go here into the extrusion individual and push this stuff a little bit here into the back. Maybe to something like this. Yeah, future ray is here. <laughs> um, I totally forget to show you that you can uh, add here. Uh, bevel modifier on our structure so we are having not so um yeah sharpen edges so increase or decrease the amount to point uh, one 
maybe increase a little bit of the segments so we're having a little bit less sharpened edges and maybe let's hide here the delorean for now and i want to go ahead here and bring in here some cylinder or one cylinder <laughs> and yeah let's shade this auto smooth let's scale this one down by pressing s so this one will fit here into our uh, our structure let's press g and z to bring this into uh yeah, bring this up in the z direction if you're pressing g you can put this here around if you're pressing g x y or z you can always or drag and drop this drag this into yeah the axis you want to use okay now we are having this one let's scale this one a little bit up by pressing s and z so that will fit here nearly here into this one put this here on the side and i want to add here an, an array modifier and this one should go in the y axis and you can increase here this as you like i like to use here eight let's duplicate this one by pressing shift and d and now i want to go ahead and bring this here into the right position maybe let's uh, go back here into the view by pressing one alt and z so we can see a little bit more and then we have to rotate this press r and yeah, in this uh, perspective you only have to press r and bring this here to uh yeah so that will fit here maybe do something like this now let's do the same thing again for the top shift and d and one now we can rotate this one here by changing the y to minus 90 everything else should be zero and we can press g to bring this into the right position here pressing s and x and scale this a little bit up so this will fit here into this one okay that is now our light here now we want to go ahead and put all the stuff into uh, geometry nodes yeah first of all we have to put all the stuff into uh, one collection so let's select all the cylinders and our cube let's press m and uh, give this one a name then we want to create a new whatever cube it's uh, not important gn structure okay and we uh, hop and we will go and yeah, go to the geometry nodes here now press here new gn structure what we need is we can import uh, drag and drop here our structure into uh, our geometry nodes and then we need a mesh line let's search here for a mesh line and bring this one in and we need an instance on points and yeah let's put all the stuff together here now let's put this one here into the instance this one into the mesh and to the points and this one here into the geometry now we can see something is going on let's enable here our delorean so that we can see what is going on and maybe let's put this one here now back to the center and uh, now we want to go ahead and change here the stuff let's leave the count to 10 but i want to change the offset to endpoints and we want to go ahead and change the y and uh, the y and the start and the x and end location so let's do this by uh, changing this to nine and minus nine and zero here okay that's looking good but we have to push this a little bit to the side so let's search you for transform bring this one in i want to bring this on the x a little bit to the side by adding here four let's mirror this one over by adding here a joint geometry i want to duplicate this here by pressing shift and d and putting this geometry into this geometry from our new transform and put this one here into the joint geometry 
Okay, and then we only have to uh, zero this one out and minus one in the scale of the X. And now we have a perfect match. Aha. And now we can go ahead and make some shading and lightning. Okay, let's start here with the floor. I want to add a new material, which is um, floor. And now let's go to the material preview because in the rendered view it's not looking very good now. So material preview is good. Maybe let's enable here the screen space reflection bloom and an inclusion. Or if you're using cycles, uh, yeah, you don't have to do this. <laughs> okay, and now I want to add here a um, little bit of texture here for the floor. So let's search here for a noise texture. And we want to put this one here into a ramp. So let's search for a ramp and pipe this one into the roughness. And now we can see uh, that nothing is reflecting. But when we are putting the black slider a little bit down to the center, you can see little bit that here is some reflection going on and yeah you can play with this i want to change the scale a little bit up to maybe something like eight so we're having here some kind of imperfections here on the floor that's it here easy one for the floor uh, i want to go ahead here with our structure so we can add here some materials on this one now maybe let's hide the structure for now and the DeLorean as well. And we will select here our cube. And the cube is easy as that as that as well. We want to turn this a little bit down to maybe something grayish here. But as always, that's up to you. Um, I want to leave the specular, specular and roughness as well. Um, so let's select here our cylinder now. And we want to use here for this one a new material as always let's uh, yeah use <laughs> material lights here for this one as name i want to use here the emission yeah to do this we want to use here a uh, renel and a color ramp again so uh pipe this one together here and then this one into the emission and what we want to do now is when we are going here a little bit more closer uh, maybe let's go here to the rendered mode and we can see that when we're increasing here this one maybe to two um, that the outside is a little bit glowy and the inside is not glowy but we can change this here now by changing the fresnel to point uh, six five and yeah as you can see <laughs> now the outside is glowy and the inside is not glowy what we can do now is here search for an invert and pipe this in between and now we are having a little bit of neon stuff here going on let's select the other lights here and add here the materials on this one here as well lights okay now we can hide this here for now and re-enable our structure and as you can see here now it is looking much better now and when we're adding here our delorean it looks cool kind of cool but we are here in eevee right now and the emission texture or material is not really yeah lightening the scene as you can see here when we are changing to cycles i think this one looks uh, much better here for <laughs> the cycles users here right now and maybe yeah you can turn off now or <laughs> skip this part here for now because uh, when you want to use EV, um, yeah, we have to fake this light, as I said. So maybe let's go back into EV. And we have to re-enable again here our structure. Uh, maybe let's hide this <laughs> for now again. And we want to add here the new light, which is an area light. Let's change here now the rotation 90 degrees and bring this one up by pressing G and Z. Now I want to go here into the light settings and change the power to 50 and we want to change this here to rectangle and adjust this a little bit more so this light will fit here into um, yeah, into onto our, our lights here and as you can see that is looking a little bit better here right now. We want to enable here shadow and contact shadows 
and now we can uh, duplicate this one again pressing shift and d g and z to bring this a little bit up and yeah let's <laughs> go into solid mode and using this ray mode again and pressing r to rotate this um yeah to fit this here a little bit better maybe do something like this and turn the size a little bit down and now the same thing again for the bottom uh, for the top and put this here over and let's see let's get this a little bit up just this okay we are now going to render mode this is looking better and all what we have to do now is to put all the three lights here into our um into our structure and hide this for now and when we are enabling now the structure that is looking much much better now uh, especially when we are enabling now here our delorean and now we are having uh, yeah, some real lights here on this is a little bit fakey when you're <laughs> looking really close um, but for Eevee I think it's okay want to change here the background to black you can change this to white as well but I like to use here the black ones for the last thing I want to change here the camera let's go ahead and let's go here with 0 by 7 by 1.4 I want to change this to 90 by 0 by 180 yeah and I want to a little bit uh, go a little bit more in the white angle so let's go to 25 to something like this yeah that is our scene here right now maybe let's go ahead and change here this to cycles it's a little bit bright for cycles i think when you're um, using or when you want to use this in cycles you don't need these area lights i think um, this is looking better here without these lights but yeah that's up to you uh, i like to use here eevee right now and um maybe <laughs> let's when we are going here into the structure Maybe let's turn this a little bit more down to something darkish, something like this. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out my tools on Gumroad or Blender Market. See you there and bye.